My name is Richard Gibbs. I'm the owner, but not the operator, of Woodshed Recording. Uh, I make a living as a film and television composer, occasional record producer, ex-reformed uh, rock star, if you can call being in Boingo a rock star. That led to, there was a little one minute animated short that was on the Tracy Ullman show called The Simpsons. Totally coincidentally, uh, Matt had asked Danny to write the theme, not even knowing of my previous connection with Boingo, and they asked me to score, do all the score for the first season. That's when I really learned film scoring, and I started out my, got my own career going as a film composer. So let's, let's step forward in time. This place is immaculate, obviously. What inspired you to build Woodshed? Like most composers, I can't wait to be able to build my own dream studio. I pulled out every trick in the book that I'd seen from different studios around the world and some that I'd never even heard of. All these pieces of gear <clears throat> are on wheels. This can go anywhere in this room that you want it to go. Like, you can just roll it. And all the cabling is in triplicate um, behind there, and it can drop down into the floor. There's a wiring trough that runs all the way around here, and there are wiring pits, or three of them. Uh, there's one back there, there's another one over there, there's another one over there behind you. Um, those have all the cabling necessary for all this gear. And the purpose of that is that we can now change the room itself. It's a liquid, a fluid recording environment, where if you look up here, you see this. Well, let's just do this. I'll bring out one of the wall panels, and now you can see how this works. This comes out like so. How many panels are there? <laughs> uh, 15. Okay. So this comes this way. And then, sometimes I can get it in one shot. Rarely, though. But let's see. Sorry. Yes! Close enough. So there's a rubber bulb seal on that side that seals against the mahogany. And there's another seal down here, if you look at my foot that drops on the floor. And now you've got a soundproof panel, sound resistant. And it's two layers of glass. And you saw that took me 10 seconds to yeah. set it up. Nice. So you can create a whole wall in about a minute, minute and a half. Create a second wall, if you look up again at this pattern here, now you can create two walls and that creates an airlock in between, and it becomes as soundproof as a hardwalled studio. Then you can also put another wall up here or another wall up there and create different recording environments. So there are about a dozen configurations to this room. Really? The other thing is, in there, that office in there, doubles as another ISO booth or as a um, production room. You can isolate it out by these panels that come out here, and that seals against the floor, and now you've got another airlock, and you can use this for, you know, put a bit of timing and tuning of vocals, whatever you want, um, and come on in here. Even the bathroom, if you look right here, there's a headphone and mic jack built down here. With that, you can get a really nice different sound gotcha. if you're doing it's nice for hand claps or yeah. acoustic guitar okay. and then this ladder goes up to a little loft turn on the light up there it's on and you pull the ladder back and you can walk up there and there's another room up there another iso booth nice so this room the bathroom and the loft are three iso booths there there are two more possible within the main room and also below the deck outside here, there's a, an eating deck we have there. Below that table is the machine room. So all of the amplifiers, we have a Leslie there with Triad Orbits holding the mics on the Leslie for the Hammond B3. It's 
always mic'd up and ready to go at any time. There's also another ISO booth down there that has a, um, a Bogner Twin 12 cabinet that's always mic'd up, ready to go. A guitar player can come in, use his amp head or one of mine, plug into the wall. He can be at full volume and you can't hear it in the room. Same with the Hammond until you open up those mics and then the guitar player or the organist can be right next to anybody else, total isolation, yet I can communicate face to face. Yeah, that, that's great. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's such a creative space. Um, now, it, it's, just, it's also inspiring. That's, I think you really nailed that. Well, I wanted a room, I spent my life in recording studios around the globe, everywhere as a session player, as a film composer, as an occasional record producer. And there are a lot of rooms I really like and a lot of rooms I don't like. Uh, I, usually I feel when I'm in a recording studio, I feel like I'm in Vegas or something. It's that windowless pit feeling of like, you know, your nerves get on itch. And that's anti-creative to yes. me. So I wanted something that inspired me and I built it for me. I built it just as a place for me to create music. I wanted to be able to look at the ocean all day long while I'm writing. And it was a pajama commute from my house right there. So. so in the realm of modularity, which Triad Orbit does, mm -hmm. how did you find us? Well, there were several design precepts to this place. Um, one is that everything had to have multiple functions. And, you know, I'm always looking for, still always looking for a new gear, new stuff that really aligns with that philosophy, with that principle. And I was at NAM one year and I saw those stands and I aesthetically liked the look of them. Um, but, and, and, and I love the, the multifunctionality of each stand, how one stand could hold two, three, even four mics, depending on how you configure it. I said, like, well, that cleans up my my room massively. A drum kit doesn't have to have eight mic stands around it. You can do a full drum kit with three stands with all these different arms and attachments. It looked cleaner, it functioned cleaner, um, a little more expensive, but well worth the money from my point of view. When your walls move around and they become tight spaces, how do the legs and the lack of counterweights well, that, that's a big, that's a big factor here because the, you know, we we set up different, you know, drum kits or a, it could be a string quartet or background vocals or whatever. There's different microphones, and different types of configurations needed, and we need to have these walls that move around it and the gobos move around it, and to have stands that can work in a compact space like the triad orbits because they're so heavy. That's the thing, first thing that tripped me out about them, other than the look of them, was picking one up and seeing how heavy they are. That, that flipped me out. What's, the, what's in those legs? I don't know, but it's heavy and it works. And all I know is I appreciate the end result massively. You have a lot of recording engineers coming through here. Hmm. Um, everyone wants a different mic in a different way, in a different place. How has IO and the quick change couplers gone over and how does it help you? Well, as I think I said earlier that we are a bit of a proving ground for a lot of different companies, for a lot of different types of equipment. And we enjoy that, that status and we get stuff that comes in here that artists and engineers have seen for the first time. And a good example of that is microphones. We have, uh, we were, as far as I know, the first studio to really um, put forth the uh, Soyuz microphones and I'm a big fan of their their mics and I would want to get an artist like Chris Martin or somebody else to try it. They would come in with their own mic. This is what we use. So well, you might want to try this. Well, what's handy about this system is that it's very easy for us to say, wait, just now what do you think of that? And it, it, it happens just like that. Whereas otherwise you've got to bring in you know, unscrewed thing and you know the, the weight changes and you bring in another mic stand and it's 
it's, uh, it's clumsy and it's awkward and it's one thing you never want to do with an artist is take them out of their flow. Traditional stands have counterweights. Triad Orbit took that a different way with the ball joints. Mm -hmm. has, that, has that helped you? Well, absolutely it helps to have the, um, the minimal impact from the, those counterweights, right? So it's nice to not have to deal with that. That's appreciated. Um, and, and again, you know, around a drum kit, that's usually the, the place where you really notice that. I mean, I'll notice that the counterweights, I start to realize, oh yeah, counterweights when we use a starboard, because those have to have a counterweight. They're so big. They have this, other than that, no counterweights no, of, of size. Of size. Right? right? Yeah. Because the stands themselves are so heavy, you don't need it so much. When we brought you starboard, what did you think? Well, the starboard was a, a, a lovely throwback. You know, again, being on film scoring stages, I'm used to conducting an orchestra with a deca tree over my head, and those have to be big, heavy, tall, far-reaching stands to hold three microphones off of one stand. And we don't get much of that here in this place, but when we do, it's really great to have that stand. We don't use them that often, but there are times when it's like, well, there's nothing else it'll do. You need that reach. Having that kind of reach is helpful because we do a lot of location shoots here and people will film interviews and things like that. And it's nice to have a mic stand that can go up above the camera line and drop down into it. And that's something else the Starbird offers. You need that, um, that height and only the Starbirds can do that. But when you store it, you don't want that big footprint. It's very nice to be able to just stash the legs, but I appreciate that stuff being neatly stored away and safely stored away. The, the thing with the, the Triad Orbit stands is that they're the ultimate, by far the ultimate in flexibility for my purposes in woodshed recording. And that's, you know, capturing great sound and with minimal visual impact. That's what Triad Orbit does better than any other mic stand by a country mile.